All right, it's Chris here. Um, if you did not know, I am a huge Formula One fan, and living around this area in Florida, it's not easy to go to the Grand Prix in Austin, which is the Circuit of America track. And so when I heard there's one in Miami, I'm like, oh man, this is five hours away. I think this is going to be great. Then I see the track layout, and I'm a little bit concerned. I wouldn't say I'm concerned. It just doesn't seem like the best track. So I'm going to go to the American Airlines Arena because that is uh, around where it is going to be. All right, so this is the area where the track's going to be. I'm going to go into the satellite view in just a second. But I have a picture of the proposed circuit. Now, this is just a proposed circuit. It's not uh, the exact circuit they're going to do. There's still going to be little changes to it. I'm just going to give out my opinion of it. So there are multiple street circuits in the game. Some of them are different, you know. So you kind of have Australia and Russia. They're kind of the same thing, you know. They are street circuits, but they're, they look more like tracks, if that makes sense. And then you have Monaco or Azerbaijan, and they look, they're, you know, they're more skinny. They, you can tell it's made on streets, right? So, and same with Singapore. With this one, it's kind of the uh, Monaco Baku style. So what's going to happen is the line's going to be here. Now, I'm assuming the track's going to go this way. You'll see why in a second. But like, as you see, this is going to be a long straight, all right? So if there's a spot where I can pinpoint from here to here. Okay, I can't really. Okay, but this is 200 feet, right? So higher straight, probably 1,000 feet. So it's going to be very long straight, okay? Definitely two DRS zones here. Uh, so what's going to happen is, you know, this is going to be two straights, and this is probably going to count as a straight, and this is straight as well. And so that's definitely going to be cool. And then down here, uh, I'll go into more detail in a second, uh, but there's going to be a huge braking zone. It's going to go all the way back, and then this weird area over here, and then weird over here. So uh, I see already water dangerous, all right? They're going to put fences up. Right, and they're gonna have to put grandstands, but you know they're probably gonna put grandstands on this part of the bridge here because this part isn't too far away. Uh, it's it's 400 feet, which is a lot, but obviously th they can't just put something here unless they build something in the water. Uh, but the engineers and all that will have that good for them. Uh, but they'll find some way to do it, and maybe they'll do what um what is it uh, Malaysia? They'll put a grandstand in the middle here. And so you can see both sides. Uh, the paddock and all that's going to be over here. Same with the pit. I'm guessing the pit's going to be right here because the track goes around like that. So that's going to probably be the spot there. So let me go into the satellite view. Now, here's the proposed track. So uh, this is the port, right? So this is perfect spot. I mean, it's not too far for grandstands. Honestly, that's probably the spot. They'll have them all the way around here. Uh, but there probably won't be one on this side, but it's not going to matter because, you know, you're going to have, it's, there's not a lot of space in between there. So one of the problems I see with this track is going to, it's going to be too skinny, right? So right here, I would say you can fit three wide, right? Probably three wide. Or this is the port, my bad. We need to go to the, uh, a little farther. So... Three wide, I would say. This way and that way. Maybe two wide on this one. It's a little bit skinnier. But you can't put anything here, obviously, right? So let's go back to not in this view. So, yeah, you're going to have your grandstand here. Let me actually just go here. There, yeah, that's that's not too bad. So, yeah, that, that's not as bad as I thought it would be there. Uh, but what's going to happen is right, you're going to go all the way down here. And then what I think is going to happen is at this point they're showing that it's going to be a little, a little bit of distance there, and then they're going to make the hairpin uh, right around here, right? So I think that's that's a lot better than making it like that. And, and what they're probably going to do is they're probably going to put a merge in the track here. Uh, that make the most sense, you know, go down Caribbean Way, then go back up Port Boulevard. Then you gotta do this huge long straight again. Takes 45 seconds in a normal car going 60 miles per hour, right? So right here is gonna be a cool turn. Okay, so what's gonna happen here is it's gonna be uh, kind, it kind of reminds me of one of the turns at Malaysia as well, is that it's going to be 
a turn, but you're going to go, you're probably going to go as wide as here, right? And then you're going to go into the apex and then drive out towards the apex and look like you're going back to the straight. So you're definitely going to want to take this like this, probably hit that part over here, probably hit that and go all the way back up, right? So this is a very skinny part of the track, which I don't understand. So the pitch straight is more than likely going to be right here, stretching across. That's a perfect amount. You can put the paddock here. You can put the paddock here. Uh, it doesn't really matter. And then you're going to exit there. It even has the lines and all that ready for you. But this is the part of the track that's going to be really skinny because when they take it, they're going to go like this, right? They're going to go all the way up. And then what they're going to do is they're just going to go there. And the, everything's going to get resurfaced, I'm assuming. Uh, but if you go down here to this exact m spot, you can see that it's not... Actually, I can't go there, but... Okay, you see this car, right? It's going to fit two of these, all right? So you could probably only fit one Formula 1 car here. It's probably going to be like the Azerbaijan checks, uh, section or whatever. Uh, so that's cool when you go there. Then you take a very long straight around the heat, so that's going to be a blind spot. This corner it looks very interesting. Uh, but they're not going to the outside of it according to these plants. It's going to be on the inside, so it's going to be very skinny again, right? You could probably take this corner too wide, I'm guessing. Uh, there's three lanes, but remember, Formula 1 car is a little bit bigger. You might be able to stretch three depending on how far they make this, right? So then you're going to go here, and there's two different chances, but right here is going to be a, uh, what do you call this? A kink, I believe? I'm not sure. Uh, but this is going to be a very cool section. As you see, it's quite wide, so you'll probably be able to take this uh, too wide as well. Uh, so you go all the way back down to here, down to... All the way down to this road here by 3rd Street. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take this corner, go through, head through this cool section, which is going to be one wide. As you see, it's, it's going to be one wide. That is very skinny. Right, so that could be a problem there. Then you're going to take it all the way back here, back up again, through this corner, and then back onto the track. So this section right here is going to be very uh, technical. Uh, probably more of the overtaking is going to happen on the kink here. Uh, nothing's going to happen through here. This is probably another overtaking spot. So that's three overtaking spots. Nothing's going to happen through this little spot here. And then there were another overtaking spots going to be here and possibly this apex so i think it, the track looks very good there's not a whole lot of overtaking zones and it seems like it's just going to get boring going down the street going up the street and then doing this slow part and then doing the same old thing it could be a little bit better uh who knows this is the location that they want to use uh but you know it's just whatever i mean whatever they are gonna do but uh, Lewis Hamilton even said that he wants to change up the track a little bit. We definitely see that happening. But otherwise, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, yeah. Maybe they'll have a cruise ship park right here. That might not be a bad idea. Who knows? It's a huge city of Miami, so you never really know. And yeah. That's the end of this. Bye.